Hey guys, we got some mail. So I'm gonna talk about these books. I'm pretty sure they're key books. And I'll tell you why they're key. We'll grade the books, see if the people I bought them from are grading accurately, and we'll talk about more. Let me open them up. Okay, these are the two books I received. They're supposed to both be at least near mint minus. That's what they are in the description. Thor number 390 and Fear Itself number seven. I'm going to tell you why they're key in a minute, but first I want to grade them. Okay, so we have the Mighty Thor number 390. Um, said to be near mint minus. Let's look at it. There's some little things here, but not too bad. Some little page stuff here. The back's really nice. Some slight. I don't think that's going to be too costly. Everything looks good there. Colors off like white. And that's what the guy said, near mint minus. I think he's right. I think it's a near mint minus to near mint. So I did well on that one. I'm going to tell you why this is key in a second to start looking for him, uh, as well as the other book. Let me grade the other book really fast. For yourself, number seven, this book's supposed to be near mint minus as well. There's a pretty decent sized ding. There's a ding. This one's pretty big. It does break color barely in the edge. Staples. So, my the way I do it is every two dings you give it a Markdown, so nine six nine four, but this one ding here is pretty dang big. So I'm gonna be nice and I'm gonna say VF to near mint. So he's a little bit off, or I'm wrong, but I think that's pretty big enough to qualify it to get it under near mint minus. I'm giving it a nine, which is point two below. Okay, off to the good stuff. Four three ninety. So, there's a big fight, Caps with them. Thor doesn't have his hammer. Mirror, mirror, or whatever you call it. Captain's like, what do I do? I have to figure out a way to give the hammer to Thor. And, what happens? He picks it up. He picks up Thor's hammer. I think this is the first time he ever picked up Thor's hammer. And he throws it to Thor to help him win the battle. So, this book is key in regards to Thor, or Captain America picking up Thor's hammer. Now, there's rumor. Here comes spoilers. Avengers 4, Cap dies. But, there's rumor that they go back in time and Captain America wields Thor's hammer. So, this is the first time Cap ever picked up Thor's hammer. Okay, so I'm picking him up early to try to get good deals on him because I think it's going to be key when that movie comes out. This book's going to blow up. Here's my next one. Here itself, number seven. There's a big thing going on. Cap grabs it. He grabs the hammer again. Avengers assemble. 
I think Thor dies in this, I'm not sure. There's a huge brawl and they're brawling, blah, 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 and he's wielding the hammer. So, that's, I think this is the second time he picks a hammer up. Fear itself, number seven. These two books are key because of that. Um, and I suggest um, maybe going and looking for him. Uh, the possibility that he's going to wield Thor's hammer in Avengers 4 is a very good one. Now, there's another key book I want to talk about in another video. Once I get it, we'll grade it and we'll talk about that. But for right now, we're talking about these two books. Fear Itself, book 7, and The Mighty Thor, number 390. First, and I believe second time, Cap picks up Thor's hammer. Okay? Have a good one.